Hey guys, Ollie here from the Roland DG UK Academy and here's five tips in under five minutes to help you with Coral. Tip number one, shortcuts. In Coral, there are slightly less shortcuts programmed for these default tools down the left hand side here. However, you can program in additional ones under tool and customization should you wish to do that. The ones that I'm gonna show you here will start with F5. So this is the freehand draw tool, which I can use to create any line shape that I wish. Moving along to the next one, F6. This one's the square or rectangle tool. If I hold down control as a modifier, that then allows me to keep it in perfect proportion. If I hold down the right hand click as well as the left hand click, I can actually move the item round there as well. If I move along again to F7, which is the next one along, we've got the ellipse tool. And this has the same modifiers as well. So if I hold down control, it stays nicely in proportion there and right hand click to move. Moving along again, we've got F8, and this one's for our text tool, so we can then start typing into there. And the final one that I'm gonna briefly show you is under F10 here, and that's a bit like the direct selection tool in uh, Illustrator, and in here I can go in and I can grab the nodes and pull it out like so. So I'm just modifying my cut line on the fly, and that one's for the shape tool. Tip number two. Navigation. When navigating your way around Coral, you're either going to be typically zooming or panning in order to do that. So when zooming, you can either use your mouse's scroll wheel to go in and out like so, or you can use control plus and minus to zoom in and out there. Or if you hit Z, you can use the zoom tool in here to zoom in on a particular part of a design. I'm just gonna zoom back out here one moment. When it comes to panning, there are a few different ways to do this. So you can either push and hold your mouse's scroll wheel to pan around like so, or you can use H, which will transform this into the hand tool and you can pan around there. Or finally, the other option you've got is to use Alt and the arrow keys on your keyboard to move left and right and up and down like so. If you're stuck in a zoomed position like this and want to resort so your artwork fits into the screen, you can just click up here to where we've got 600% and drop that down to fit. And now the artwork fits within the screen space. Tip number three, layers. To use layers in Coral, you firstly need to open up the object manager. So let's click onto window here, navigate down to dockers and then object manager. That will pop up then on the right hand side here. And you can see that we've got a master page and page one. Master page is if you're looking to create a larger document to a booklet or something like that. So we're just gonna minimize that for now. And we're gonna focus on page one up here. And at the moment, all of our design is on this main layer here. Um, and you can see that by clicking the plus button, we have three different objects in here. So the curve is the cut line. This group of 64 objects is the logo and the group of 77 is the tiger design itself. So if we want to split this out onto individual layers to give us more flexibility, we can do that by creating a new layer down at the bottom here. So let's create one called cut line, for example. And then to transport our cut line from in here onto that layer, we can simply grab it and just drag it up onto that layer there. If we then wanted to create another one for our logo, we'll just click plus, add that in there. And then let's just find our logo down here. So our group of 64 objects, drag that up to the logo layer. And now our artwork split out across the three. And in here you can either lock or unlock it. So for the logo, we may lock that to stop it being edited. And you can also turn these on or off as well. So if we wanted to just check our cut line, we can turn off our design. And if we want to check our design without the cut line, we can do that as well now. Tip number four, file formats. Opening the Roland swatches in Coral is really quick and easy as they're built in for every version other than home and student. To open them up, we just go up to the top here, click window, go down to dockers and open up our color palette manager, which we should see in the list down here. Once we've navigated to there, we can see all of the different swatches that are built in. And if we go down to a folder here called Roland, you can see that we've got a color systems library, a metallic color library, and Roland VersaWorks. To open up the VersaWorks swatches, click the eye here, and they'll open on the right hand side. Tip number five, swatches. So in order to print our file, we just need to export it into a format that's compatible with VersaWorks. So I'm going to navigate to file and export. And in here, I'm either gonna use PDF or EPS, dependent on my preference. With PDF, it will save the artboard as well, whereas EPS just saves the design information. 